Now, the Kenya Human Rights Commission has filed a case at the Milimani Law Courts seeking to stop the new university funding model for university students. The commission argues the new higher education fund will block many students from accessing university education. Many may not understand the new higher education funding model set up by the Kenya Kwanzaa administration, which is already facing a challenge. The Kenya Human Rights Commission, KHRC, has filed a case to stop the new funding model for higher education from taking shape. They argue that the system is discriminatory and excludes millions of students from receiving financial aid for their university education. According to the commission, the requirement that a student must be above the age of 18 to apply for funding is a breach in the right to access information. Already, students say they are feeling the weight of confusion in the sector. The second semester, they really delayed the money. Especially, you know, as nobody school fees, we just pay for our school fees using the loan that we get from help. So they delayed Mbaka almost what we to Karibu to Fungiwe to register courses. In the case, KHRC is joined by co petitioners, including Elimubora Working Group, the Students Caucus, and Boaz Waroko. The respondents in this case include Education CS Ezekiel Mashogu, the Higher Education Loans Board Help, and the trustees of University Fund Kenya. Other respondents named in the petition are the Kenya University and Colleges Central Placement Service, KUCCPS, and the Attorney General. In line with President William Ruto's directive, when he unveiled the new funding model on the 3rd of May 2023, students from vulnerable and extremely needy households will receive 100% funding, while the needy and slightly needy will get 93% government funding. Brian Moshiri, NTV, Nairobi. Satisfied the board of 